You'll notice that the title of tonight's event is Find Your Voice, 25 Years of Emotional Literacy in Schools and Beyond. I'm here to talk about the beyond, because still others use the communication tools they learn in their work off stage every day, whether they're doctors, writers, ministers, or entrepreneurs. And that's what ultimately separates Find Your Voice from other programs that use the arts to develop self-expression. <laughs> Ours is really a creative wellness program, and it's one that teaches skills for life. Now, I'm not in the arts at all. I work in finance and Morgan Stanley. <coughs> and I still use the skills that I learned in the program daily. Find Your Voice is about opening dialogue between people, regardless of the identifiers that sometimes mask just all that we have in common. It's what has allowed me to progress in my career to become an executive director and to be a successful manager and mentor who creates a work environment in which people are empowered. It's what's given me the skills to communicate with confidence and understanding, whether I'm speaking with the CFO of the firm or the most junior member of my team. When working in and with offices from London to Tokyo. More importantly though, it's what's given me the tools I use as I strive to be my best self possible. With my husband, with my family and friends, with anyone I encounter, but more importantly, with myself. And those of us who have been given these tools don't ever take them for granted. We're here tonight because we want to make sure the doors to find your voice stay open for at least another 25 years and that we're able to share these tools with others who need them. And we need your support to make that happen. <laughs>